Jeff Bezos has been on a bit of a Twitter streak. He's been fighting with the Biden administration about inflation because he really cares about inflation. He's worried about the people. Now, also, some have speculated that maybe he's doing this beefing because he wants to up his standing and potentially run for president. We'll get to that in a second, but first, some of these tweets. He tweeted out the newly created disinformation board that we heard about this last week should review this tweet, or maybe they need to form a new non sequitur board instead. Raising corporate finances is fine to discuss. Taming inflation is critical to discuss. Mushing them together is just misdirection. That's in response to Joe Biden tweeting out, you wanna bring down inflation? Let's make sure the wealthiest corporations pay their fair share. Bezos does not feel good about that, I wonder why. He continued on, in fact, the administration tried hard to inject even more stimulus into an already overheated inflationary economy and only Manchin saved them from themselves. Good job, Joe. Inflation is a regressive tax that most hurts the least affluent. Misdirection doesn't help the country. So, um, to the uh, to Biden administration's credit, they did respond, fired back, and point out the madness of this. He said it doesn't require a huge leap to figure out why one of the wealthiest individuals on earth opposes an economic agenda for the middle class that cuts some of the biggest costs families face, F- uh, fights inflation for the long haul, and adds to the historic deficit reduction the president is achieving by asking the richest taxpayers and corporations to pay their fair share. It's also unsurprising that this tweet comes after the president met with labor organizers including Amazon employees. So of course, lastly here, really fast, Jeff Bezos said, look, a squirrel, as if they're trying to misdirect. This is the White House's statement about my recent tweets. They understandably want to muddy the topic. They know inflation hurts the neediest the most. But unions aren't causing inflation and neither are wealthy people. Remember, the administration tried their best to add another three and a half trillion to federal spending, and they failed. And yeah. of course, some are thinking he's upping his game to feel like he's this populist, but he's still a Democrat because he can run on the point of like, I'm looking to help people, but really he's trying to protect his money. Yeah, this is scary, guys. The oligarchs are moving in. Um, so uh, before my entire lifetime, uh, really wealthy folks avoided the spotlight like it was cancer. Because you know, God knows how they made the money. A lot of rich folks made the money in good ways, but a lot of them in and bad ways. So they didn't want any part of that spotlight, right? Just ask the Purdue family that produced toxic content. So now Elon Musk and Jeff Bezos diving into the spotlight, that's a red flag. That means they're definitely interested in politics or almost definitely. And in fact, I'll give you the Elon Musk tweet. He said, in the past, I voted Democrat because they were mostly the kindness party. Uh, but they have become the party of division and hate, hilarious by the way. So I can no longer support them and will vote Republican. Now watch the dirty tricks campaign against me unfold. So Elon Musk uh, declares that he's a Republican. So now it's possible that Bezos, who's in a massive penis measuring contest with <laughs> Elon Musk, is gonna go, Oh, you picked the Republican team? Oh, I'll pick the blue team, I'll pick the Democratic team. Because they don't care, they don't care if it's Democrat or Republican. All they care about is me keep my money. Me not give you money, me keep all money, okay? And by the way, corporate Democrats, corporate Republicans, what freaking difference does it make? I mean, my whole lifetime, they've been playing the same game. They've been serving people like Musk and Bezos. Now Musk and Bezos are basically telling them, get out of the way. And guys, Mike Bloomberg spent $500 million. He didn't win, but he did move the polling in the states that he spent all that money in. Imagine if somebody like Musk or Bezos doesn't spend 500 million, they spend 5 billion or 50 billion. So they might just flat out take out the servant class, the politicians, and just step in and run the country themselves. So Russia, we're not that far behind you. Here come our oligarchs. Capitalists love to play this game where they talk about like budgets and how inflation works. Look, the harsh reality is increased taxes, especially increased taxes for corporation, actually rise wages and actually raise benefits and things like that. These corporations get deductions for all that stuff. They just want that money to be free for stock buybacks, buying up real estate so they can extract rents from the public and things like that. The reality is the higher corporate taxes are, the more companies are forced to invest in things like research and development and their employees. If you wanna cut inflation, you gotta raise corporate taxes. There's not any way around that. Yeah, and Hamilton Nolan made a really good and scary point in The Guardian and in, in these times. He said, imagine if Bezos comes in with that much money, what do you think the centrist Democrats wouldn't do to please him? The centrist Democrats would instantly just hand him the party. They'd be like, "Oh, you have money for us. Oh, yes, 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 yes. They don't care about the working class party or any of that. So mm-hmm. Bezos could pretty easily buy the Democratic Party, 90% of it, which are the corporate Democrats. So it's scary times.
Here come the oligarchs. Thanks for watching the Young Turks, I really appreciate it. Another way to show support is through YouTube memberships. You'll get to interact with us more. There's live chat emojis, badges. You've got emojis of me, Anna, John, JR. So those are super fun. But you also get playback of our exclusive member only shows and specials right after they air. So all that, all you gotta do is click that join button right underneath the video. Thank you.